What's up everybody, tools in action, more Ventrac. We're gonna have tons of Ventrac videos for you guys. We love the thing. You know, we might have one tomorrow and five this week, I don't know. Well, we actually had a cool project coming up that we're gonna take you and show you, so that yeah. I'm excited about. It just depends how much we use it and get the film with it. We have been using it a ton. As you guys can see, it's in some weird configuration right now. You guys are probably freaking out, but what we're gonna talk to you about today is accessories. I actually put some accessories on this, and uh, we had a guy email us and you're probably watching this and say why did you go with the Ventrac accessories because they're a lot more expensive than you know just going on Amazon and buying some cheap LED lights or yeah. some flashers and stuff like that so I'm gonna kind of go over my thoughts on why I decided to go with the Ventrac stuff um, first things first there's some uh, accessories that you just can't get anywhere else like this is the three-in-one accessory right here and what this does is it goes on the three-point hitch on the back and it allows you to attach things like this dump bucket and actually you guys this is fully functional right now because I have rear hydraulic so you can't you can put the mower on the back and lift it up you just can't power it on the back oh you can okay because that's part of the belt PTO driven okay. um, system so but it's still cool because you know if you're at a job site and you got to run out and you need a splitter on the front yeah. or this or that you know you can you can carry two attachments with you at all times In and fact, it's so easy to change and move around yeah, the fine. project that we're going to be doing, we're actually going to take it like this. Yeah. Um, and Eric's going to mow. We're mowing this huge bean field for this uh, this uh, conservation place. So it's going to be a cool video, you guys, but we're still a few months away from that. So we're working on that. So the 3-in-1 uh, accessory basically allows you, like we said, to put accessories on, put weights on, and it also has a 2-inch receiver. So you can tow things like your tractor, stuff like that. Um, again being Ventrac, real thick steel, yeah. real good stuff, you know? Um, what else do we add, Eric? Added on some lights on here, right? Yes, we did. Now, the lights, again, you know, you're gonna pay a little bit more for these lights, but here's why I decided to go with these lights, because we were looking on Amazon we did, yeah. for just cheap lights. And you know what? I mean, this is a nice tractor. It's a quality tractor. I didn't really want to detract from that by putting on some, you know, cheesy Amazon LED lights, you know? Obviously, if you're the budget basement guy, Maybe, you know, but if you're a budget basement guy, you probably wouldn't have a vent track. You'd True. Yeah, you exactly. shovel to the rake. <laughs> right? Right? Yeah, yeah, I agree. So, um, but basically, you guys, with these accessories, it's all plug and play. And that's the beauty of it. I don't want to go cutting into the wiring harnesses on this. I want this thing to last a lifetime. I want this tractor, when I'm 80 years old and dying, I want this tractor, hopefully, to look as you good as it look, does you now. You think you'll live to 80? What? You think you'll live to 80? No. I'm yeah. figuring 65 will have a major. Yeah. <laughs> Soon, yeah. You know? But... Hey, it's at least of it 20 something years. Mm -hmm. Last 20 something years, please. Wow, that's not that long. 23 years is all you got, man. Wow. I know. Man. Think about your life is over. You are half, your life is halfway over. I'm going to retire now so I can enjoy life. Yes. Adios. Um, you guys, with this stuff, like we're talking about the beacon light up here. Sure, I could have got a cheap beacon. I could even got a wheeling, nice top of the line beacon. But it doesn't come in this nice protective cage, which protects it. It's designed for the vehicle. I'm not drilling any holes in here. Everything runs right through. And the instructions that come with it, you go right underneath the dash, plug and play. And I mean, it's automotive style yeah. connector. So it's not just, you know, butt splices. It's a, a real automotive connector that has the rubber O-ring around it. And when you click it, it's held it's, in. Yeah. And there's no moisture going to get it. That's going to save life of the vehicle, I believe. I believe. Like I said, it's going to cause a lot less electro, electrical problems. Too, yeah, you, you know? could you could be that guy that's you know Mr. Electrical. I mean, I used to install car stereos and, and do all that kinds of stuff. But just with this vehicle, I just would rather keep everything you know top notch and be in. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Reliable. Reliability. Oh, yeah, I like that word of the yeah, day. Yeah, you like it. So even with the turn signals here, you guys, with the turn signals, LED, all of this stuff is LED. But just these brackets, the way they're made, the way they fit are just awesome. And then you, if you're doing wide, you got a wide mower on, or you got your extra tires on, and you want to be a little more prevalent, you can put them down like that. Mm, fancy that. That's cool. Yeah. The only thing that about these is uh, when you have them on, you always got to remember, because like when I'm going through tight areas or around trees now, oh, I forget yeah. about these things. And I almost <laughs> caught one one day, and I'm like, oh, no. So that's the only thing you got to worry about that. Um, but you guys, still, plug and play stuff. The switches all on the dashboard are plug and play. This thing is completely OEM. And last but not least, we're going to talk to you about the slope That's gauge. funny. I like that. I give it a thumbs up. The thumbs up. I, know, I got that from Sticker Mule. I sent oh. it in the mail. 
Um, last but not least, you guys, let's talk about this slope gauge. That's probably the best investment ever because this thing can only go up to 20 degrees with these tires on it. So uh, if I go over 20 degrees, this thing is going to beep. It's going to make a noise. It's going to tell me, well, warning. Yeah. The, heart, the highest I've ever got up to was like 17 degrees. Oh, really? Wow. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, not completely. Yeah. You know, like the tractor was off the yeah. toward it. I was down. But I mean, that was pretty scary, actually. Um, but I, I like to know that stuff. I like to know when am I going too far. Usually my senses tell me, hey, you're mm -hmm. going a little bit too far before the alarm goes off, yeah. but it's good to have. Um, so you guys, you know what, how many months we had this thing now? Wow, f four or five maybe? Yeah, we've had this thing for four or five months now. You know, we've done a lot of upgrades to it. We've done the grapple. We're gonna talk about the grapple in another video because once we get it operating. And uh, it's just turning into like this, this great all around vehicle, you know? And the cool thing about the Ventrick is, is all season. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. I can't wait for fall because I'm going to be out there stump grinding. I'm going to be out there with the grapple, cleaning up stuff. You know, in winter, I'm going to be plowing. Yeah. You know, I don't know if I'm going to plow or I'm going to scoop. I got to see how bad winter is or how, I, I just don't know how it's going to operate with the scoop. Because you don't see many people scoop plowing, you know, but that's yeah. how I want to do it because I want to be able to drive the snow and pile it. Pile it up. Yeah, farther away, yeah. Right. And a lot of people say, oh, you can't do that with a Ventrac because it doesn't have the high bucket. Well, actually, you can because you drive, drop your snow, go get your other snow, go back, drive up the existing pile, and you just keep driving up, and that'll build a big pile. I like that. You got a game plan down. Yes, I do, Enrique. Yes, I do. You guys, definitely encourage you to check out Ventrac.com. Definitely encourage you to go look at Ventracs. If you're in the Chicago area, call Eric. He will gladly show you I'll take you, the, you for a ride on this bad boy, He'll take you for the ride on the bad boy. Well, yeah, we're probably gonna get like 50 people contacting us. They're like, "Oh, let me try the venture. They're gonna wreck it. Actually, I don't think we have insurance for that, so scrap that. But no, you can go but definitely. To... If you're in the Chicago area, give us a call, man. Come over, check it out. Yeah, if you, you know? want to, you know, we'll give you our honest opinion on it. But also check out venture. Why are we doing that now? Giving you our honest opinion. Well, yeah, but yeah. I mean, you know, some people want to talk. They want to ask questions yeah, like we didn't true. ask. We're tools in action. We're very vague. It's what we do. Vague. Hashtag TIA crew, you guys. Check it out. Um, if you guys need some of this cool TIA gear, you can go to TIAgear.com. Eric says we got new hats coming soon, all kinds of good stuff. We do. So. And guys, don't forget Instagram. We're going to start, we have went heavy with Instagram, then we dropped off. We're getting back into that. Facebook, all our social stuff. And guys, the Power Tool Forum, we've been lacking on that. Uh, Tap Talk's up and going, so if you're are on your phone or on your tablet, use Tap and Talk. It's a great system to communicate. Uh, so This is like the boring part of the video, I feel like. No, because you know what? It's great. We love interacting with you guys. We love seeing stuff. We don't always respond to every single comment and stuff like that because obviously you guys see we got a ton of it there, but we read a lot of it, you know? Yeah, so it's, it's cool. cool. We try to, to interact with you guys best we can. Basically, we're just two guys that love equipment and tools and stuff like that. We just give you an outtake on it. We're not in-depth reviews or anything like that. So if you want to laugh, grab a beer, sit down, chill out, talk about this stuff. And it's all about you in the comments. Tools in Action. More exciting tool action. Go to toolsinaction.com.